I'm enjoying nice. Dead Space. Dead Space was a good game. <laughs> it's scary. It. <laughs> Very. All right. Anyway, we are live. Welcome, everyone, to everyone's favorite game, Pokemon. Damn it! I got the timing wrong on that. <laughs> Pokemon. You, you. Platinum. Dream restart. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, welcome to the new setup. I will be improving it after this stream because I realized the chat box looks uh, well, bad. It looks like a gray square, and because the chat disappears over time, it's going to continue looking like a gray square even after people start talking. I was far and but and back in time. Ow. Welcome Where everyone. I experienced, <laughs> I experienced what Ash called past psychological damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I prefer mm. emotional damage. Yes, welcome to our special guest, Sand, who has been blowing up the chat for uh, quite a few streams now. Anyway. Okay. The it's challenge rules are on the screen. This is a Nuzlocke, so be prepared for pain. And according to Ash, Platinum is uh, the worst for this. <laughs> it's either Platinum or it's Ultra Sun and Moon. Those are, like, the, the hard ones. <laughs> well, either way, it's going to be fucking Play messy. Radical Red. Nuzlocke. <laughs> I don't right. fucking play ROM hacks, I'm sorry. Yeah, I Radical play ROM hacks. Radical will kick your shit in. Anyway, who wants to be Professor Oak? Rowan. No. Are we full-on voice acting this? Mm, oh god, main I have to finally scenes. flex my skills. <laughs> I mean, I can just do it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the thing is that... I'm only going to be here, like, a few times, so I don't want you to give me characters that I'm not going to be here for. You We're can not... voice the protagonist. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we won't stick with doing, like, serious voice acting. So, I guess we'll just do anything that seems fun. And this is the intro scroll, which, uh... Well, if you played a Pokemon game, everyone knows what this is. Everybody calls me to remember Quit... Quit skipping over my words, Sonny! Also, shout out to one of the more annoying parts of the most annoying part of this intro. The fact that I have to use the touch screen to hit the Pokeball, and if I press, and if I just press the A button, it would just, uh, scold me for doing that. They're teaching you the wonders of the Nintendo DS. Little bunny. Little bunny right here. Isn't she adorable? Oh, she's gone. Shout out to La Pony, by the way, for being the only non-legendary Pokemon to have zero friendship with you initially. Veneri fucking hates you, it's so funny. Veneri That's hates you with the wrath of God. Internet. It saw what was on the internet. Anyway, yeah, I have it set up so that the main screen is always on top, or on the side or whatever. So, sometimes the touch screen's gonna be here, sometimes the regular screen's gonna be here, just based on what has more interesting stuff, according to, uh, my, propri my proprietary technology. Your name is Rachel. <laughs> you're, you're totally legit, Nintendo DS. See, it's legit, because no one- because they don't make DS's anymore. You know what, Bear? This is all like abandonware. Alright, so do you want to give Barry his canon name, or do you want to give him something special? Hmm. I don't know. It, it's your run. Who do you want to deal with this whole time? Let's go with Don't Barry. pick Nolan. No, yeah, this guy's Nolan North. Sand, you're in charge of Barry, too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how you do this, Peppy. Oh, well, Rachel, the time has come. You're very on terrible. <laughs> By the way, how the do I The exact same I opening loud? feel they do in every game. <laughs> and now she. Oh god, they shrank her. <laughs> Honey, I shrank the kids. God, I do miss that opening where they just scrunch your character down. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to this, which appears to be on a timer rather than an actual input for some reason. 
Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. All right. God damn it, Barry, I want to open the menu. Sorry, Nor, <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that voice. Hey, Rachel, did you see the, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So we ask him, I bet you would give us some Pokemon. Welcome to Pokemon Platinum. One of the changes is that Barry was actually a chain smoker. <laughs> is that a new PC? <laughs> is that GTX 2800? Oh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're going to see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Rachel, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million whatever that is. I think it's literally. Polka dollars. Yeah. Anyway, first off, you have to do some. So before we do anything else, we're going to save because, uh. Because. Really quick, How do I sound? Do I sound too loud? You're pretty in balance. You're like a little louder than Ashes, but that's more just because of how I have Discord balanced. Oh, I. Oh. Yeah, I, I went and balanced you down. Uh, so you should be fine. Uh, yeah. It's because I had the microphone, like, a few inches away from my face. <laughs> Not do it. I mean, Nana has blown out her mic so many times when she's with us, and oh wait, yeah, Ash is completely maxed out. I'm just going to turn you down, like, three... Just close that. That much, yeah. That should be fine. My stream now, make me the loudest. Anyway. Now it's time for the most important things to do. First off, tech speed fast. We're gonna keep battle scene on for now. Although, admittedly, I know this game's pretty slow. And we're going to change our frame, which is obviously Bricks. the most important part. Damn. Like, I'd say leave battle animations on unless you're doing some heavy grinding, because then it'll take <laughs> forever. Yeah. Oh, look, it's our mom. Rachel! Nolan already left. <laughs> I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. I'm waiting for the 10 million poopy dollars. <laughs> oh, yes, Rachel, don't go into the tall grass. Well, a Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, uh, take care, sweetie. <laughs> Shout out to the fact that they're just... Shout out to the fact that... Well, parents are irresponsible in, the, in these games. Yeah, I mean, shout out to the fact that Twinleaf Town is, like, in the most isolated position possible if you're not allowed, if you can't go through tall grass. It's great, you're, you're stuck here unless you want to get oh, mauled by wild well. animals. Yeah. Oh, hey, Rachel. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, gee, I forgot something. All right. Thanks. I'm trying to stay authentic to, like, the original dub. <laughs> I never watched this season of the anime. I don't... Okay, no, I here's mean, the like, thing. I definitely watched the season of the anime, take but it was... Big in Journal 2. It was pretty disjointed. Oh, hey, Rachel! I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Poke Dollars fine if you're late. Well, we're, we're gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> Taking everything from us. Babe, paycheck percent. <laughs> Ugh, can't wait until we have the running shoes. It'll be a hot second. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. Alright. Giddy, giddy, giddy. What? Don't go in the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. Doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Are you sure about that, kid? Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into the tall grass? So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get into the Sang Sand Gem Town without running into any wild Pokemon. Oh, stick with me. Oh, okay. Foolproof okay, idea. Here, here, on your mark. Hold it. 
Oh, nope, it's Rowan. <laughs> you two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. And what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Uh... Hey, Rachel, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What are you doing here? Hmm. They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. What to do? Our world surely won't change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on? You two. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Yeah. <laughs> That's why me I'm going to watch I love die. Pokemon, too. I will ask you once again. You two. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Look. Every no one's here for the dialogue. If you played Platinum, what, you don't love this. that stimulating Pokemon dialogue. <laughs> no, it's there's so much of it. Look at that, Jesus. <laughs> We're here for the Pokemon. We gotta figure out who our newest. We gotta figure out who our first victims are. <laughs> some bug catcher kid. Some poor unfortunate bug catcher kid. Like you know, fun fact, weedle. I didn't know how Pokemon actually worked when I got Diamond as a kid, so I really thought Lucas was Ash. <laughs> he might be, you don't know. <laughs> I it's, sure fucking didn't. No, it's Ash's son, don't you know? Oh. Now here comes the biggest choice of them all. Which one are we gonna choose? The Tiny Leaf Pokemon, Turtwig. The Chimp Pokemon, Chimchar. Or the penguin Pokemon, Piplup. Fox loves Piplup. Or Ampelon. Yeah, we're going with Piplup because I almost always pick Chimchar. Well, I just choose you, I'm picking the Turtwig. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we... How are we surviving in this town with all this wild grass growing everywhere? Alright, so here's Rowan the... fights him off with his hand. That's animal abuse. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Wait, is it animal abuse if you are defending yourself? I think it qualifies as self-defense. <laughs> With that kind of dance, you'd think he would go for the monkey. If we had taken Turtwig. Anyway, We're as ready always- for the most exciting battle. The one problem with taking Piplup in this game is that Turtwig knows how to use Withdraw. It sure fucking does. Admittedly, Piplup d Yeah, that gives Turtwig a pretty big advantage early on in this game for the Nuzlocke. Piplup knows Growl, but a lot of Pokemon get Growl this pretty early on, so it's not like oh that's God, a huge advantage. I completely advantage. forgot that this was a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Yeah. So, here's the real hot question. What are we naming Piplup? Because um, here's the thing, when I when I name Allison. Pokemon, I tend to fall on, like, a lot of human names. Sometimes yeah, I'll do- there. Yeah, sometimes I'll do goofier names, but for the most part. So, shout out to this riveting battle. <laughs> Hound. Don't you love the Withdraw. first rival fights? Aren't they so fun? It's literally just hit attack. Oh my I've god, seen... we're doing nothing to Turtwig. <laughs> I've seen... All the Pokemon showdowns on Pokemon Showdown got nothing on this. Yeah. This is, this is high level skill. It's better than watching attempts at trolling on Pokemon Showdown. Here's the thing, if Turtwig gets a crit, then we're probably going to lose this fight. Yeah. <laughs> this fight sucks. This fight sucks a lot. <laughs> this is definitely the worst kind of fight we've gotten. Turtwig fainted. Wait, in this context, he died. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's fine, though, he got better. Alright, looks like we have special attacker Piplup. I don't know if Piplup's normally a special attacker, but it looks like he is in this universe. Can we get it up a yeah, uh, go, go check Nature's uh, when you have a shot. Absolutely. I'm interested. 
Yeah, Piplup's special because they're the only Pokemon whose nature we get to check before naming them. Because we don't get to name them until we get to Sand Gym Town. Yeah. Who came up with the concept of Nuzlocke in the first place? I mean, I think there was uh, a dude... I think it was literally Mr. Nuzlocke. It was, that was not his name, but it was one specific guy uh, playing. It was. It wasn't even called a Nuzlocke. It was called like a Ruby Hard Mode or something, and it got the name Nuzlocke from one of the characters who was a Nuzleaf, named after Locke from the show Lost. Ah. Uh, also, shout so out that's to the fun. Uh, quick question: In this game, do they actually like show the stat changes you get from the Atrus? Because last. Like, is this one of those neutral natures that doesn't do anything? No, they didn't add the color thing till Gen 5. Alright, so hang on. Yeah, maybe I should pull this out, but it's like, meh. We're probably not going to make it anywhere I'd want information on for a while. Uh, Quirky is plus special. Hang on. Why is it like this? This doesn't make. Hang on. They get Box on the phone. He knows how everything about Pokemon. Quirky boosts special defense, but it also lowers special defense. Oh, so it has yeah. to so it has to be a neutral nature then. <laughs> I guess uh -oh. so. What? I guess that's just how the neutral natures work, because because there ah, because there's one neutral nature for every uh stat. Pokemon. Pokemon. Anyway, here's a character who's definitely getting voiced by me, specifically. There. The flowing time. The expanding space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until oh, then, smoking. sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. All of my villains are going to end up sounding like Pegasus, but this guy's got his own ass enough for it to work. <laughs> Allow me to pass. Step aside. The hell's wrong with that guy? What a weird guy. Anyway, so... Hmm? Yeah. Anyway, so talking about some nonsense real quick, I have actually never beaten Platinum before. I haven't even beat- Never like, have I! I've never Neither actually beaten I. Gen 4 um. before. Mm. <laughs> I've never even finished Pokemon Yellow, and it was the first thing I ever had. Yeah. If I remember right, I got all the way to the Elite Four on, like, multiple occasions before restarting save files, because I could never get past the Elite Four. Yeah, because Platinum's fucking hard. <laughs> like, it wasn't Rachel, even Platinum. what's was... your first Pokemon gonna be? Uh, here's the thing, Nuzlocke we, rules we don't- We can't get anything yet! Nuzlocke rules aren't in effect until after we get Pokeballs, so... Our oh. first catch, so we can't have our first catch until we can catch stuff. Also, I forgot to write it down, but the, but I am using the escape clause, or Pokemon escape, or if the wild catch escapes through a move, we get to try again. Because it'd be very rude if okay. we end up getting, like, fucking... It'd be very rude Abra. if we lost an opportunity because we ran into Abra. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the, how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Uh oh. That's why we were using escape clause. So everyone shut up, the song only plays like at, at this scene. Alright. What are we naming our quirky little Piplup? <laughs> Donkin. Honestly, I wanna call him Mercury. There. Cause I think I mean, between- with the water steel typing, which seems very appropriate, even if he's not a poison type. Just call him Merc for short. God. Shout out to when I was a kid, and if I accidentally- and I didn't nickname Pokemon, and if I accidentally went into that menu, I didn't know that if you left it blank, it would just not give the nickname, so I ended up nicknaming, like, Chimchar Chimchar. <laughs> Great. Which was, um, oh, horrifying. One. Fight for me. Shout out to the Nut- Shout out to how the Nuzlocke challenge makes the Pokedex completely useless. 
Yeah, it's great. The professors are like, please, please, please fill this out for me. And you go, okay, no. And, and then you don't. And then you don't. Just never get Pokeballs and just capture them the old fashioned way, like an Arceus. With Pokeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've never played that game, so I don't know what it's like. God, shout out I to thought Professor you just beat the shit out of Pokemon and just capture them. Shout out to Professor Lavinson, who are, who is just like... Rachel! Definitely one of my least favorite professors. Don't talk about Arceus, I haven't played it yet. Yeah. I mean... Hey, Ash, did you know that Arceus, that there's a super special secret Pokemon that you can get? Ooh. Its name is Bidoof. <laughs> uh. By the way, I really don't like the Genie Quartet. I don't think those legendaries are that good looking. Okay, hold on. Which ones are those? Uh, they're the ones who just look like dudes in clouds. Oh, Landorus, Thunderous, Tornadus. And, uh, Enamorous. They added a fourth one. Oh, why'd they add a fourth one? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe I should make Allison track, uh, Leap Motion. Oh, are we gonna buy our first Pokeballs? Yes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um... Really quick, I just want to mention that the top, that at least the top half, not the top half, the top quarter of the screen is bit crushed to hell. Is it? Yeah. I think that might be on the streaming side. That might be on the stream side. It's, um, it's not on the stream. I think that's just Discord uh, doing ah. some funny. Oh, oh okay. So. I don't think we've been having any of the slideshow issues we were having last time because they turned down the bitrate. Because they stole bitrate from you. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not using the claws that makes it so I can fish in an area I've caught a Pokemon already. So, I kind of want to hold off on going back and milking the... Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, whatever. You, at the very least, you can hit uh, the first route, but if you want to save uh, Lake Verity for later, that's fair. I'm gonna be honest, I was going to just burn Lake Verity. I actually meant I was just going to fish up a Pokemon oh, in uh, Leaf Town. The god himself. <laughs> Alright, Mercury, do not kill. Are we sure we want to capture it? Like, right, right. Like... gets a lot of shit, but it's like pretty Ooh. good. People oh, are willing to beat it for no reason. I mean, worst case scenario, beat does make a good HM slave. Yeah, but like, it's got decent typing, it's fairly strong, it's at the very least bulky, it can handle a million HMs. Everyone is so mean and rude to this poor thing. Yeah, not. Yeah, like. Not to mention, Bidoof does technically give us access to our earliest water type, since the barrel is a normal water type. Alright, yeah. what are we gonna name him? Or her? Wax uh, on. I mean, Wax we on. could... We could just do something dumb and call him Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> Should oh, this yes. Alright, this is Doofenshmirtz. That's not gonna fit. Doofin. <laughs> Doofin smart. <laughs> Doofin smart. Just the one. He's so smart. SMRT. I am the smart. I am the smart. SMRT. I mean SMART. Uh, out of curiosity, I've never actually managed it, but how do you get... Huh. Speak with your mouth, please. 
Like, I know we can go into Lake Verity later to try and get one of the legendary Pokemon, but isn't that like a post-game thing? No, wait, it's not. I, I never got the post-game. Oh. We can get- Oh yeah, it must be after you beat the main story. Yeah. Right. You can get the last- <laughs> You can get the three- You can get the whole lake trio. Oh right, no, never mind. We do have to go back to see our mom anyway, so- uh, might as well just grab the Verity thing here, cause that means we'll- Cause that means we'll be able to get Starly, thanks to Dupes Claws. Fair. And it guarantees you a Shinx. I think. Two. Unless- yeah. unless you're at the time zone for Krikatot, in which case, like, condolences. Yeah, Krikatot- You have to call him Dupe and Smirt. Alright, uh -oh. let's see. Here's our, like, Verity pull. <laughs> Dupes no, Claws is enabled, one. so this is not our- <laughs> so this is not our Verity Pole. Get Doof out there and crush him. <laughs> Make him fight his own kind. Doof and Smart is actually- Doof and Smart is lower level than this big Doof. <laughs> we got you really- You got the lowest possible Doof you could. Yeah. Are you doubting your- are you doubting your little- your little beaver? Yes. Real quick, does Doofin Smart know? Oh, Adamant. I swear, is that another neutral nature? Um, no, Adamant uh, boosts attack and decreases special. Well, that's pretty decent for Badoof. I think it's a physical attacker. Mostly, yeah. There he is, Starly. Woo! This guy's going so to be a got monster. A beaver and a pigeon. So. Oh, and oh a yeah. I guess. Huh. I guess there is some weird screen working on the very edge of the capture thing. Doof and Smurd actually gets one shot from full by that. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rip and pasta. <laughs> well, I guess they're pulling Doof out. Need to be gentle with Doof. She's she's working her way up. Ow. Oh, reborn Link 54 is now following. Hello. Oh. Welcome, Ooh. welcome. Apparently, I... Thank you for the follow! Could you Don't guys hear that? Because I couldn't. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Apologies if our setup is kind of boring looking. It's new. We're working on it. Go oh. Dang it, kid. <laughs> oh no. Oh! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's not live dangerously. This is kind of wasteful. But, like, I don't want to lose our starter. Not even ten minutes into the run. <laughs> oh, but why not? It would add some, some spice to this run. It would be funny for the memes. It would Do it for the bit! No, not the premiere ball. Come on. I'm gonna be honest, what is the point of the Premier Ball, other than looking nice? Because I swear I looked this up. It doesn't do anything, it's just, it just looks cool. Really? Yeah. Is it a waste if it saves us the starter? No? Oh, but what if it was a cool, fun bit? <laughs> it is not a waste. I didn't know that. It's... It wasn't a waste because the only way the only way Mercury could have died there is if the Starly had actually chosen to attack and crit, and it chose to growl instead. But you know, name it Pidgey or Pigeon. Nah, I actually really like P Dub. We're not going to encroach on that one. <laughs> uh, P Dub's so stupid. There's nothing going on behind those eyes. <laughs> Brainless. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do we want to give this guy just like a dumb anime name? Yes. This Naruto. guy. Naruto. <laughs> yeah, the Raptor is absolutely a Naruto character. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> to be fair, I've never really watched Naruto, so... No, but you have the energy. <laughs> I have the energy? <laughs> Babe, I can't believe you just called me a Naruto watcher. <laughs> I know, I'm really throwing rocks right now. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think we're going to You could be a JoJo watcher. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see this. I see That's this right, Ash, I called you today. and me out. You called this chat yourself of... and Ash out. I'm the only one who's immune. <laughs> For now. I mean, yeah, technically I've watched up through part three, but I fell off super hard after you... that. <laughs> that makes you a JoJo watcher, <laughs> come on now. Alright. Well, anyway, I'm trying to think. Uh, I honestly don't think we're going to raise up Doof and Smirt, because they're definitely going... Because, like, they're definitely going to be our first replacements once we need to. Oh. Look, Rude Bidoof and Barrel might be pretty decent, but, like... We already have a normal... We already have a water type and normal type between Mercury and, uh, Naruto. Fair enough. And I don't think Babarel... I don't think Babarel ends up being a physical wall. Alright, here's the real question. Ooh, Naughty Naruto. <laughs> so whenever naughty. he goes into the ladies' bathhouse... Ah, keen eye. Wait, no. No, I think... Boost if... attack and special defense. Or lower special defense. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect for Staraptor. Not to mention, I think... Isn't it like Starly can... Isn't it like Starly... Hmm. Isn't it like when Starly evolves, Staravia has a chance of having Intimidate? I think it might be based on what uh, ability you have to start with. Go, yeah, but I don't... There's still a chance. There's still a chance that Naruto ends up having Intimidate, which would be really good. Would be nice. Look at that blonde child and tell me that's intimidating. True power. Yeah. A real ninja. I can't do that voice. I cannot do the Naruto <laughs> voice. A Unless real ninja really never backs away from a fight. You my throat. I know what Naruto sounds like. I cannot do the voice. <laughs> None of us can achieve that level of quality. Well, that and my and my dad's right outside the door, so I don't want to sound like a complete idiot. Fair. Ooh. Go, Naruto! Kill that beaver! When does... Wow. When does Starly evolve again? Uh, it's somewhere, like, early... Uh, early teens. It's pretty early, because I know Starly has literally evolved right after the first trainer. Right after the first rival fight. Yeah, it, it's not that long. Yeah, like, we're definitely going to be training up Staravia because, like, getting our hands on Intimidate would be so good. I mean, yeah, Kienai is nice and all, but how many po how many enemies actually end up using accuracy-lowering moves? Kienai is, like, only useful when you're like, man... This really sucks, and then the one trainer will use a uh, sand attack, and it won't work, and you'll be like, wow! Sand? Oh, Ash, amazing. sand? Oh, shit. <laughs> sand is in the video game. Sand, you're legally obligated to attack something now. Alright, come here, Ash. Come here, Ash. Oh, no! <laughs> Ash, today's we're going, victim We're is... going to act in a fight, don't worry. I'm just gonna be method acting where I'm gonna be actually punching you. The the lore of why I'm not in any future episodes is that Sand killed me. <laughs> yeah, alright. I'm trying to think. It I think it's worth checking in on the houses because some because occasionally these people will randomly give you an item. Yeah, it, it's good to check. 
Yeah. Not, that's... Don't voice all of them, because there's way too many, but like... Obviously not. Yeah. It's I'll definitely worth checking, one. because... My brother! Yeah. Who are you again? It's worth checking, just in case we do end up getting a potion. Because those things are expensive early on. How does nobody question the random children that just walk in and out of their houses? The video game, come on now. So you've got an antidote. Hmm. Too bad we didn't really get to, to experience the Lake Verity theme. It's very good. Oh, okay, level 14. I think Chimchar evolves at level 15, but since... I think a personal rule is that I'm going to try not to out-level gyms, which means the highest level I want my Pokémon to get is to the gym leader's highest level. And I believe... Yeah, that, that's a good personal rule to have. I usually have that one, too. Yeah. It's unfortunate if you have Chimchar in this game, because uh, Chimchar doesn't evolve into Monferno until fucking uh, 15, which is one level after Kranidos. Mm, that's unfortunate. It's very rude of them to put frickin' the Rock Gym as the first gym, because uh, most of the Pokémon you're gonna catch this early on are not gonna be good against Rock. I mean, that's why uh, Rock Gyms are usually early on, because, like, if they put them late game, you have so many things that can just sweep a Rock Gym. So the only way it can be any challenge is if they put them early. Yeah, but if it's you don't good. end up taking a... Yeah, but if you don't end up taking... If you end up taking Chimchar, that means you won't... That means you only have a two shots at effective Pokémon against the... against the Rock-type gym. Because I know you can get but I mean, yeah, you could technically get Magikarp, but no one counts fucking Magikarp. <laughs> Magikarp is unfortunately yes! unusable. Alright, I'm um, really quick, you two. I have to go take out the garbage. That's fine. Okay. Hurry back. But please, please capture this Shinx. I, yes! love, I like Shinx and looks right. Intimidate Shinx. Ooh. A burden made a small lion cub. Fun fact, Shinx is one of the only Pokémon I've ever discarded the starter for. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, that was the first run that ever got me to fucking, uh... That ever actually got me up to Dialga, because again, I was a dumb kid. Except I burned the Master Ball on a random, like, Bronzor on the route up, and I thought I needed the Master Ball to catch the Alga, so I just killed it instead. <laughs> Still not as embarrassing as the time I wiped my file, and that file had a Jirachi on it. Oh, babe! I was so Really quick, before I leave, uh, name the Shinx 9.21 gigawatts. Ah. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. Even if I hadn't deleted that Jirachi, it would still be gone by now because I lost that DS along with that uh -huh. copy of Diamond. Uh. Babe, you're so disappointed in me. I'm so sad. Alright, what did we want to call it? 9.1 gigawatts? Uh, 9.21 gigawatts? Like the Back to the Future thing? Ah, of course. 9.21... 9.21 Giga. <laughs> we know what it, it stands for in our hearts. Alright. Yeah, Switch Training... Switch Training Giga is gonna be pretty good. Like, we're going to have him out for the tr We're going to lead with him for the trainer, just because the Intimidate's going to be nice and easy. Oh! Yeah, fair. Good on you, Link, for still having Soul Silver. Yeah, Soul Silver's, like, impossible to find nowadays. Because they only did, like, a limited run of them, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
yeah, $133 on Amazon. Yikes. Ooh. That is unfortunate. <laughs> God, I wish I could find my old Polka Walker. It, it got lost somewhere and it's never gonna be found again. Shockingly enough, I'm like really paranoid about crits. You should be. Well, it's a good thing I should be, because I fucking am. Now, those first trainers really do give you just nothing in terms of cash. <laughs> Your early game, no one has any money. Uh, Rash. Oh, Isn't that like attack up speed down? I think that might be defense down. Oh, it ups special attack? Huh. And lower special defense. That's funky. I mean, that's not, like, amazing, amazing for Shinx, because I'm pretty sure Shinx is a physical attacker. Yeah. Oh, Luxray is a physical attacker, but, like, it's not the worst, the worst. Admittedly, I would have... Like, at least if harming anything you're gonna use. Yeah. Admittedly, I would prefer to have defense down, because Intimidate would at least help to cover that. Alright, well anyway, as we go, I'm trying to think, it's probably, I think we're going to keep training up Naruto with Switch training. <laughs> Although admittedly there is another trainer up ahead, but you know what, it's early enough I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, the, the main hard part about early Platinum is that they give you 20 million Pokemon. Yeah. Alright. So, out of curiosity. Hey guys, it's me, Lou. Did you guys actually manage to capture the Pokemon? We did get 9.21 Giga. We ran yeah. out of characters. <laughs> Alright, rate that Lou impression. I'm going to be completely honest, I could barely hear you. <laughs> Alright guys, it's me, it's Lou, and uh, I'm, I'm back from playing my favorite gacha game. I'll give Time it like- in. I'll give it a four. <laughs> Room for improvement there. A lot of it. I'm better at wacky voices. I mean, to be fair, the only voices in my inventory appear to be, uh, Pegasus, Pegasus, Pegasus. and, uh, whatever I use for Humphrey. The Humphrey voice was agonizing, can I say? Because <laughs> it was so I fucking cool, the and she talked to every Humphrey. <laughs> it felt like we were there for hours. Rachel, Rachel, do please do the Humphrey voice. I mean, come on, Ash. Wasn't it a good voice, though? Oh, God. That's just, that just sounds like Rachel if she was high. <laughs> Apparently. I don't know. This is what you get for not watching the Amori VODs. Hey, I was busy with homework in, in college. How we have a VOD channel. A oh no, we're gonna pour we're gonna kill this poor child Pokemon. <laughs> no, I follow the headcanon that in the Nuzlocke challenge we just have defective Pokeballs. <laughs> More specifically, That's a good one. we just have like a big magnet in our backpack right where we keep all the Pokeballs. I, I remember you talking about this when I first fucking started Roadmap Not Included. You have held on to this for years. God, has it really been that long? Jeez. <laughs> it's gonna be three years old this year, babe! Congrats! 
I think we're just gonna growl down, because I think we all got growled by Badoof. Fair. Let's just hope that's not a critical tackle. Real quick, I know crits, like, ignore the bonus defense, but they also ignore stat downs, too. Sounds like somebody needs to play more Pokemon Showdown. No. We need to stream that one day, Pokemon Showdown. Mm. And and have the only opponent be Box. <laughs> the only tolerable way to play Showdown. No, no it's the way to lose Showdown. Oh, finally, Cook Attack. Which I believe in this generation is just a better version of Tackle. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It, all, it does oh, more damage oh. and it always goes first. Yeah, I know the fucking power of Quick Attack. I know the power of Tackle tends to like, fluctuate between gens. 1.21 Giga. It's even more yeah, accurate. Yeah, been fiddled with a lot. So is Bubble. Yeah, like in fucking, uh... Yeah, Bubble kinda sucks. It sucks here. It gets boosted so much in later gens. Yeah, Bubble sucks really bad. Like, I gen... Like, with Stab, that goes up to 30, but our, and our special attack is pr a decent amount higher than our regular. Uh, Isn't it better than nothing? Here's the thing, if we get growled or our enemy uses withdraw, Bubble's going to be our best because Bubble is, a is our only special attack right now. Yeah. Alright, so this is wasteful, but I'm actually just going to use a potion here, because I don't feel like going all the way back to the Poke Center again. <laughs> Doopin' Smirt is, Doopin is ignorant, is, uh, just vibin'. Yeah, he's here. He's moral support. I'm probably just going to use her as an HM slave, because we really do just already have all our typings covered for her. <laughs> Oh shit, it's Bernie Sanders. Oh hey, Bernie. Ooh. I am once again asking for your experience points. Very slowly chipping away at this Bernie. Oh hey, a crit. <laughs> and another crit. Damn. First crit of the run, a nice one. <laughs> Against Games being nice. Against a moldy acorn. Alright. Giga got two crits in that fight. <laughs> and hey, Leer, defense down. Hey, put oh my God. Huh. Is Shinx, just, Damn. is Shinx just, like, really low on the experience curve? Like, fast growth rate? It might be. Hang on. Jeez. Uh, we need to get rid of all these beavers, man. They keep chopping down our trees. It's medium slow on the, on the leveling rate. I guess... I mean, to be fair, it was a trainer, so... It was a trainer, and these are early levels. Yeah. Like, it's the second slowest. Yeah. Alright. Is but everyone Ash, excited? You... Is everyone excited to see Looker? Yes! Who? 10 out of 10 character. A character who only exists in Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> so upset. Like, he shows up <gasps> in other places, but he, he, he's. Oh, oh he shiny? That's a shiny? Shiny Claws is in effect. It. It's it right now, I swear to God. Holy shit, I was. This is. What the fuck? Babe, this is my first shiny. 
Shiny claws okay. is in effect. I'm keeping this thing. <laughs> Holy shit, this is the first time I've ever seen a shiny. Holy shit, that damage. That damage is outrageous. <laughs> Just keep chipping away. <laughs> Oof and smirt. <laughs> no. Smirt, please. All right, Everything all right. Is Everything Here's... else is too strong. This thing knows growl. Naruto, do not ruin this for us. Do not, do not go on the filler arc. Two years no, worth of filler. Please. <sighs> Don't risk it. Don't risk it. Yeah, try something now. <laughs> Hold the A button, it'll help. <laughs> Mash B! No! It was... Do it again! Babe, how is this my first shot? This is legitimately the first shiny I've ever encountered in the Pokemon game. It's fucking nuts. And it's a brown bird. Oh... All right, what are we naming this thing? Shiny claws is in effect, meaning I'm going to be, I'm going to say I can use this one because it's it's a fucking shiny. <laughs> what are we naming this one? Uh, some luck, Providence. Diamond. Unbreakable. Diamond is unbreakable. Uh, fucking. I swear, uh, Rachel, you sometimes turn Scottish. <laughs> well, it's not surprising. Viola. Yeah. Like <laughs> our first shiny. God, what? <laughs> So, I Isn't guess we're getting rid of Naruto from our watch list, right? Yeah, we're going to actually box Naruto in exchange for Viola. It's the law of equivalent exchange. Hey, is it that wrong anime, Ash? <laughs> Bad guy. What's he doing? He's playing hide and seek with himself. Uh, excuse. What? How did you know? How did you not mask me as a member of the international police? You made it too obvious, pal. Uh, what? Are you kidding? I was just making small talk. <laughs> you claim you're only making conversation, do you? But I know better not to believe that. No, no, no. You recognize right away that I was something extraordinary. That is why you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome. Quite admirable you are. Now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am a globe-trotting elite of the international police. My the name. worst agent ever. Ah, no. I should inform you only of my code name. My code name? It is Looker. It is what they all call me. Incidentally, is the saying, don't be a thief, familiar to you? Babe, is it? <laughs> no. No. <clears throat> no. No? You claim not to know it? How could that be? Perhaps because your mama has said it, but you have forgotten it like usual? <laughs> now listen, my friends. <laughs> it is wrong to take what belongs to others. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed those words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokémon of others. I have, therefore, been on the lookout for cre- for characters arousing my suspicion. I almost said creatures. For creatures. <laughs> Incident they are subhuman. Incidentally, you are trainers, yes? Perhaps you can make use of this. Yay, the Versus Recorder. It's gonna be so useful. That VS Recorder. It's a nifty device for recording a match. Out. 
All right, looker, get out. get the fuck out of here. You're fun, but get out. No, but I love him. If you were to see me again, I ask that you not talk to me, for I'm on duty. Actually, yes, yes, you may speak to me. You must. Not because I am lonely. No, no. You must inform me of bad guys. You must inform me of any happenings. Looker's actually mustache girl's uncle. <laughs> it's all coming together. Alright, there's a trainer's school where you can learn about things. Your pal Nolan North. With our pal Nolan North. I get... I still cannot believe that. <laughs> that was some, like, insane luck. Like, isn't this before they lowered- they raised the shiny odds? Aren't we still in 1 on oh, 8,000? Yeah, that was full odds! <laughs> Alright, so this guy's naughty. Viola here is timid, and you know what? Fair. What does timid do? Let's find out. Timid is plus speed minus attack. Uh, not the best. No, not great. But not, look at her little face. It's not great for a physical attacker, but like, it's a shiny. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Not use the shiny? Master, there's too many of them. What are we going to do? Ugh. I should definitely add more specific rules to the thing in the bottom left, but we'll do that after the stream. If we'll add some bonus ones. ones. Like, I think... Alright. We're going to switch train Viola. Because, uh, I still want to get the Raptor as soon as possible. Fair. An X attack, everyone. Don't you love X items? I mean, they can actually—they can be kind of decent if I need to set up, but yeah. Cool. Let's get a town map so I can actually double check which routes we haven't used. <laughs> God, I'm actually never going to get over the fact that I got a full odd shiny. <laughs> well, your luck continues to amaze. Of course. Anyway, time to start training. School Kid Harrison, your shiny is ugly. <laughs> your starly is ugly. Look at mine. <laughs> Alright, take me down, kid. Look at my Starly, isn't it shiny? <laughs> oh, he's pissed. Oh, is there not an animation for that? Uh, I don't think so. This gen's weird about what does and doesn't have animations. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'll probably be fine. Found that bird. Mm. No. Don't blow bubbles at it, you fool. I was thinking because it's both stab and... <gasps> oh. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Guess what, everyone? What? It's time to go back <laughs> to the Poké Center. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Man, that pigeon beat the shit out of that penguin. <laughs> At least we got- We've been like dangerously. I love how they both crit at the same time, though. <laughs> eye for an eye and all that. Bleh. So, Link, what brings you to your stream, anyway? Other than the fact that it's a nut lock.
God, we've had a lot of ridiculous luck so far. <laughs> Another beaver. Great. All right. Uh, let's get let's get Giga some training. Intimidate should put it. Intimidate's a really good skill we should keep our hands on. Yeah, I'm surprised you were able to get it, because I swear to god, every time I've gotten a Shanks, it's had rivalry. Yeah, rivalry sucks. <laughs> uh, you fool. Look at that. Is Bidoof normally like a wall kind of Pokemon? Because that Bidoof's tanky. Admittedly, we are growled, yeah. but still. It's a fat like, beaver. Of course it's gonna be tanky. It's, it's got some bulk to it. Yeah. Hey, guess what? That doesn't do anything. Double special attack. <laughs> it's bubbles, Rachel. Oh, God. That bubble had some <laughs> soap in it. You were saying? <laughs> All right, that's Giga up to level oh seven. God. Fifteen entire attack. Oh, you're in Puppy Tail Club. Interesting. Oh, oh right, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get that item. A regular potion. Woo. Anyway, that was pretty worth doing. We got a we got a small heart <laughs> attack and everything is fine. Everything's so cool and normal. Like, fine, I guess it might be worth ready. If Badoof has a decent amount of bulk, it might be worth training it might be worth training Doof and Smurt up. But like We'll probably find a wall before that becomes an issue. You, you're certainly not going to be hurting for Pokemon right now. Yeah, there's a bunch of early routes. Oh boy, time to get the Poketch. By which I mean talk to the clowns. <laughs> hey, at least the, the lower screen won't be so boring. Yeah. The lower screen's going to have our Pokemon tracker. Which my question. Can a Pokemon hold an item? We're in Clown Town! But... But I already am among clowns. You two. <laughs> hey now. I don't know why, but I just had like the biggest flashback to Enchanted Arms. You, I think you just are thinking about Enchanted Arms at all times. I think... <laughs> I think I might have a hyperfixation, babe. <laughs> Oh right, we gotta I do. Can't the, believe it. We gotta do the Rachel lottery while we're here. Door. You do the lottery? Rachel. No, this is the Poketch Company. Yeah, I don't think lottery's open yet. Yeah, there's a clown out front. <laughs> Barring you from entry. All right, where's the last clown? Yeah, I always, I always miss this guy. You gotta imagine you, had, you just had to answer easy questions to have a better chance at winning the lotto. What's what's the compound that everyone breathes? Oxygen. Correct! The Pokemon uh, world is just a kinder one than ours. And more dangerous. That too. Here's our steps counter. <laughs> There's a calculator. Oh, I love step counter. There it is. There, now everyone can see the team. And we can actually keep track of everyone's statuses. Oh look, it's Naruto. <laughs> Naruto's enjoying some break time. Alright, let's see. No, he's on the filler he's on the filler now. First off, let's actually get a catch from this area up here, Route 204. Also, I'm going to quickly set my I'm going to set my town map just so we can actually check this faster. And save just in case. I mean, Link. I kind of I kind of said that the world's over, 
Pokemon World more dangerous, but more forgiving. But would you have a better chance at winning the lotto if you knew that any day you're going to be crushed to death by a purple slime hat creature? There's a version of reality where muck is real, and... <laughs> God, I still feel bad about losing that muck when I tried the black two Nuzlocke. Oh, no! You were... Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Or get him! Get him! God. Oh, Badoo. My biggest problem with Badoo is when does Badoo evolve again? It's friendship based. Oh, yeah, that would do it. It evolves when you, when you love it. And also, the... you're not going to get uh, the stone for its final evolution until uh, um, a much, much later into the game. Because there's exactly one in the entire game. No, I'm not speaking from personal experience. How can you tell? Uh, Link, we got to shine you right before we got into town in that looker. And A, shiny claws is enabled. And oh, yeah. B, Link. we're balancing it by switching out Naruto for Viola, which means we do, which means we just lost all the progress we put on Naruto. Especially because yeah, Viola just has a worse nature too. For right now. Still, there's a grass know, type covered. I know just what to name this Budu. Budweiser. <laughs> Ash, do you do you submit to Budweiser? Sure. <laughs> How the fuck do you even I, spell that? I used that? to do in like my original original run of platinum, uh, Nuzlocke of platinum that I started several years ago. So I am irrationally attached to several Pokemon that I used there. Yeah. Anyway, Link has put forth Bouquet, and I like that a lot more than Budweiser. <laughs> God damn it, Link. Sorry, but you have gotten to name <laughs> several Pokemon at this point. Yeah, fair. Okay, yeah. Wait, you, wait, 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 you forgot the U. Yeah, I thought something was weird there. There we go. <laughs> Introducing to the team our second girl. <laughs> anyway. Wait, 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 wait. I think you might want to heal it first. I mean, we're not going to use it to fight. Wow, that was rude. That girl called you a weak-looking trainer. Kill her. Kill her cat. Kill it. Oh, wait. Uh, you might want to switch out. <laughs> we're switch training Viola. It's fine. It's fine, everything's so normal. Not to mention, if the Shinx doesn't have Intimidate, it has Rivalry, meaning it's worse against guys. Right? Isn't that how Rivalry works? Better against same no, sex, worse against opposite? I don't think it makes it worse. It sh I hope it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't Sword and Shield, because I remember seeing that on Haxorus. Hmm. Are you kidding? Link says it does not. Ah, yeah, right. it doesn't. Shout out to the fact that we're on two Leers, but, like, we're only taking four damage. Built different. You never know when a critical attack's gonna come in. Ah, uh, let's see. Viola has very balanced-looking stats right now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, admittedly, no. not a big fan. Admittedly, Viola does have a pretty garbage nature, all things considered. It's not great. Oh, hey. It's a boy. It's a Magikarp. <laughs> this poor lad. Magikarp, Magikarp, Magikarp. Babe, do you think we can beat it? No, I, I think this is going to be too much for our team to handle. Let's get through case and healing. <laughs> Watch this thing, no fucking hydro pump. <laughs> it, it, 
It's got a special egg moo. Learned roar of time. <laughs> Ooh. God. This Bro. is gonna take a minute. Yeah. This poor kid, his parents must hate him. To get him like a useless <laughs> magic carp. I mean, to be fair. It doesn't this... matter how strong, it's filled with love. Magic carp is filled with love, and if magic carp gets another 12 levels, it. I think it's really funny that no one knows Magikarp evolves into Gyarados for some reason. <laughs> what people know in the Pokemon world about the creatures they live with all the time is, like, really funny. Because <laughs> half of them don't even get that they can evolve. Most people don't even know that Pokemon can evolve. <laughs> Shockingly enough, we didn't get a lot of experience out of that Magikarp. I can't imagine why. Yeah, it's that weird. got that Pokemon from his dad. That's all he had left to remember his father. <laughs> oh um, no. In order you to pass on my legacy, him. you must train this Magikarp. But dad, it only knows Splash. I know, son. I know. But it would be funny for the minions. I mean, to be fair, he could train up. To be fair, if he just exhausted Splash, he'd be able to use the Magikarp in battle. Yeah, I mean, like, actually Struggle it? would eventually KO him. Shout out to the only time like... I've actually seen Magikarp use Struggle, which is when I used, uh, what's it called? Taunts on it? The one that makes it so you can't use non attacking moves? Oh, no. Uh oh, there he is. Uh oh. Thank you. Alright, so technically speaking, I think. Yeah, they do exist. I think this encounter. I think Nolan's up to like level 9. Yeah. Yeah, Nolan's been boosted a bit. He's been juicing. Yeah, look at, look at our Starly. Ours is much more cool than yours. It doesn't matter how much you growl, kid. <laughs> Bubble special attack. <laughs> or the critical quick attack. I mean, crit quick would be annoying, but it's not doing enough damage to be threatening until we get down to the tens. But, Rachel, you gotta be careful. Criticals, you know. I mean, yeah, but even on a high roll, it would still- we would still need to be down to 10 HP before it'd be dangerous. Shout out to the Starly. It's doing what I did and thinking attack and special attack are the same thing. And then you kept spitting- You're one gen off, Barry, sorry. Ooh, the yellow learned quick attack. Ah, oh, so close. That's unfortunate, but we're not keeping, but we're not keeping Mercury in, considering Turtwig should know a grass type move by now. Yeah, yeah. By this point, it has to. Look at that cute little turtle. Thankfully, Turtwig is a physical attacker, so it's not like this is going to be that bad. I say. Oh, uh, there he goes with the withdraw shit again. Don't worry, we have Leer. This is going to take this a while. This is a battle of endurance. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to suck so much, babe. You made a mistake. You, I did. You've allowed this beast to, to roam freely on this earth. The problem is... Like, what can I even do? I could just burn the X attack to make us go fast. Damn it, God damn it. <laughs> this is a war of attrition. This is... This is hell on earth. 
The thing is, is that there's something wrong with Barry's AI that makes him favor <laughs> support moves over attack moves. So oh. he'll just keep doing this. <laughs> He's not gonna stop. <laughs> Giga, get a crit oh already. <laughs> our only special yeah. our only special attacker is a water type. <laughs> you might be able to do that, Link. <laughs> Link, there's this very the good grind. odds. Is this what the Sigma grind set looks like? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking turtle. <laughs> Why the fuck is Barry of all people doing stall strats? Oh, finally a That's crit. That's just what he fucking does. My Pokemon can't beat me. You told me to stop using withdraw. Thank you, God. Anything else but withdraw? Oh, God. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, this is... Link? Um... This is fun. No. <laughs> they almost killed the boy. Alright, so who wants to sit down and grind up levels for a bit after this? <laughs> yeah, getting grinding in will probably be a good thing. Ah. Uh. Oh. We are I mean, hey, at least this game has the normal experience curves instead of Gen 5's fucked up Ooh. ones. Right, so you might wanna you might wanna heal sometime soon, alright? <laughs> we are in crit range. It does need to be said. <laughs> oh, I love Nuzlocks. Yeah, we're instead of like, oh oh I guess my Pokemon's gonna gonna faint for a little bit. No, it's, just, it's gonna fucking die. Oh, thank god, we got a second crit. Because... Oh, no. We would have legitimately god. had to go through like another three potions if we hadn't gotten that crit. <laughs> if I don't hit... Ah, we didn't hit level nine. That's unfortunate. What's going on here? I lost? Yeah, you kept using withdraw, you fucking idiot. Ugh. Alright, well anyway, that's a new route, but first, let's grab some more stuff from the Pokemart. And heal the Pokemon. Absolutely. Alright. Okay, cool, you are the guys. Uh... The boys. I think we need to- don't we need to buy like 10 Pokeballs at a time to get a Premier Ball? Yeah. Yeah, it's like- it's- in-universe, it's just a bonus you get for buying in bulk. Buy 10, get one free. Yeah. Buy 275, get no, get none free. God, I genuinely can't believe we came so close to losing Shanks to fucking the, to the first real fucking rival fight. I gotta live dangerously. Ugh. Almost lost to a turtle. Living deliciously. So maybe Piplup was a mistake specifically because of that. <laughs> because of withdraw. Alright, welcome to Route Perhaps. 203. Time for our newest Pokemon. What's it gonna be? Abra! God damn it. Escape Clause is in effect. Right now. Escape Clause is in effect. If this thing teleports away, we get to try again. Like, if you don't want you can get an Abra, because I have gotten one off of this route using Nuzlocke rules. Alright! Holy shit! I got a Shiny and an Abra. <laughs> My god. Congratulations! Name him Uri. Or Geller. Or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> uh...
Boon. Boons is fun. Yeah. Spoons it is. All right, so we have bouquet, spoons, uh, 9.21 gigawatts, doofed smirt, mercury, and viola. Yeah. When the fuck does Abra learn an actual attacking move? Let's uh, find or, out. Poor doofed smirt, he's, she's level two. Yeah. She's moral support. Meanwhile, all the big boy boy. Boy. Oh, right, yeah, that's worth checking. Let's see if it's a good nature. It's relaxed. That is, uh, plus defense minus speed. Uh, not the worst. I don't think Abra's... Eh. Out of curiosity, are your abilities inner focus? What's the other ability Abra could have? Um, uh, synchronize. By the way, Rachel, you might want to save. Oh yeah, sure. Because we're never gonna have that happen again. I still can't believe we got a shiny and an Abra. <laughs> Thing is, I don't think Abra learns anything until it levels up. <laughs> Yeah, how well, how's it gonna great is the thing. So how is it gonna level up if it doesn't learn anything else? Or Not to mention, isn't Alex training. and Zam a trade evolution? Uh... Yeah, yes. Ooh. I can trade in Abra for, uh... If it's still there from Diamond, there's a... There's an NPC who will trade me a parrot for Abra. A parrot? A Chitot. That's the Pokemon. Oh, okay. I think that Chitot knows Sing, meaning it's probably going to be more useful in the short term. And honestly, because I can't get Abra all the way to Alakazam, I'd probably change it out anyway. Does this also have that move that does more damage if you scream into your microphone? I mean, Cricketon Zubat, huh? What a good team. <laughs> cricket and a bat. A cricket, cricket bat. Oh my god. So, fun fact about Cricketot. What? It literally, the only attack move Cricketot learns until it evolves at like 20 is uh, Bide. Which is awful. Bide is mean. Yeah. Bide is here to ruin your day. Bide's kind of terrifying. So we're actually just going to stall out until this Bide goes off. His vibe. Because Bide is like, it'll charge up for one turn, and then it'll like deal double the damage it took in the turns it was charging up. Uh-huh. They're fucking woo! Alright, we're gonna let this- Ooh, I'm getting angry! We're gonna let this bike go off too, and then we'll just rush it down. Yeah, like you can probably get it after this one. Like I could've- like I probably could've gotten it during this one, but you know. A better safe than sorry. Yeah, cause if I was wrong, bike would just one shot. Oh, apparently it does know something other than Bide. My god. I mean... Would, would a bird lose against a cricket? Come on. I mean, the only way you lose anything against Cricket Todd is if you don't know what Bide does. Uh... I'm gonna switch Viola out because I do need... I'm gonna switch Viola out to Giga. Admittedly, I don't need to because it's Zubat, and Zubat kinda sucks before like level 10, or whenever it learns Wing Attack. Yeah, that's but like 14. Little cat. Yeah, Bug Bite uh, sucks. Yeah, it only knows like Astonish, Leech Life, and uh, like Confuse, right? For quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, like Zubat. I know how much I love Zubat, babe, but Zubat sucks for so long in the beginning. 
Yeah, it gets bite at 13 and wing attack at 17. Oh my god, that is way oh, worse shit. than in other gens. <laughs> like, when do we get the experience there in this the game? the mortifying ordeal of raising a Zubat, uh, you get the joy of having a Crobat. Woo. <laughs> How very exciting. Quick question, does Badoo need to be in our lead slot in order to get friendship when we walk around? I don't think so. I think it will passively get friendship uh, as it's being walked. Cool, Giga oh, learn charge. Giga learned charge. Is charge good? We'll need it charges up to boost uh, next turn attack. Well, that's interesting. Not amazing, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's a funky one. It's weird that that's your first electric, uh, move on Shinx. Yeah. Your favorite Pokemon should be placed on the top left, don't you know? Yeah. You know what? We're going to get so little use out of Spoons. Does Spoons' teleport not actually kick in until we visit a tr until we visit after getting him? Maybe. God, how how annoying would it have been if we'd used teleport and gone all the way back to Leaf Gym Town? Would have rolled. It would have been amazing. We should also get the old rod while we're here. <laughs> yeah, we can get the old rod, and then we could just grab a magic carp off of 218. But honestly, we're going to. We already have enough. We already have enough fodder Pokemon. We need to raise up. Like, it would yeah. be a bit, Like, maybe after we do the Grass Gym, because Magikarp's not going to be pulling its weight until level 20, and even then, it's not going to be that good at the Grass Gym. Yeah, so we'll hold off on catching Magikarp until after the- until after the Grass Gym. Alright. I don't think there's any Grass on the route to the left, so it's whatever. Do bodies of water count as their own route, or as part of the route? Uh, honestly, I think that- honestly, I'm going to count them as part of the route. And yeah, gonna, it's how the game tags them, too. Yeah, I'm gonna keep fishing and surfing pools as the same thing, too, so... We're allowed one Pokémon per route, so even if- so if we fish something- so even if we fish something up right now, we won't be able to keep it. Damn. Oh boy. Yeah. Everybody has Shanks. I mean, it is early levels, so, you know. It's all they have right now. Yeah, look at my cool pigeon. God, why do none of these Shanks have fucking Intimidate? Because every Shanks has rivalry. Every single one. Every Shanks has... is a house cat. Ooh. Hey, hey, universe! <laughs> hey, universe! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> How many crits are we going to eat in these short two hours? Oh, you know. A few. God. Charge. Oh wait, it's electric though, so it's not gonna matter. Yeah, but the thing is, charge is not an attacking move. Yeah, that's what, what I thought. Say? It boosts the power of the next electric move. Yeah, it's it's funky. It's, it's such a weird a, one. Yeah, like it's all like it also raises special defense, but geez. You think we should switch in uh, bouquet in a little bit? Uh, honestly, ugh. here's the thing. Badoo's like real squishy until it evolves. So we need to have it fight some more. Yeah. We, we need to become friends. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to hold on to Bouquet until we get to some higher level enemies and then just switch train there when it'll be faster. Because I'm, I'm trying to think of what's going to be like immediately useful. 
And considering we're going into Orberg next, that means we need people who are good against Rock type. And while, yes, Badoo would be effective against Rock type, I don't trust a Badoo against fucking Kranidos. Nothing is good against Kranidos. Because Kranidos hates you. Yeah, like maybe we could end up getting him a chop, but. Like, okay, so there's a little patch of grass just to the north of Orberg. I think that is a route that extends, so if we do it, so if we use it now, we will not be able to pick a higher level Pokemon later. But it's definitely worth doing it now because that gives us access. Because that patch of grass can have a Machop, or it could have a Ponyta. And Ponyta is one of the only Fire-type Pokémon we're going to be getting in this entire run. Please let it be Ponyta. Yeah, like, a Machop would not be terrible. Machop are super strong. Ah, uh, but wait, isn't Machamp a fucking trade evolution, too? Yep. All right, let's see if we can... Let's, here's hoping we can get a Ponyta. Manifesting it for you. All right. You what guys can't see it, but I'm waving my fingers at the screen to ensure a Ponyta <laughs> arrives. Here's hoping. We still got a cave we have to go through first. Man, there's so much tall grass, you'd be... Wondering why nobody has been smoking it. Ha 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 ha. Awesome. Yes, Amazing. Thank you. I, thank you. Thank you. That's that's the peak of my comedy. Like bubble kind of sucks, but considering Mercury's a special attacker and has stab, it should be at least on par with Pound at this point. There. Pitiful. Oh, are we going to switch in Badoo to fight Badoo? Nah, Viola's actually kind of low, so I'm going to go for Giga, even though Intimidate's going to be wasted here. Like, I know Absorb isn't that good, because, well, it's one of the lifesteal moves, but with Super Effective, it would be pretty decent. Badoo has to, has to be my favorite Pokemon uh, cry. It's so cute. Badoo is just a baby. <laughs> it is, it's just a little baby. Alright, well here's the real question, guys. The real question? Do you think we'll see another shiny in this run? Yes. Yes. It happened once, it can happen again. Cool. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if that trainer had a shiny? I think... I think the trainer Pokémon are already set and can't be shiny. I think the only case where we'd see a trainer with a shiny is, uh, during the catching scene. The catching tutorial. Because yeah. the catching tutorial was mean and rude and also run shiny odds. Because <laughs> it, like... It's tagged as, like, a wild Pokémon encounter. There's just, like, scripted events around it. <laughs> Good one, Link. <laughs> God. I can't wait. I've... I'm still a little bit shocked that I got Viola. It rolls. It does sign it from rolls God. So much. Wow, that's pathetic. Okay, I'm trying to think, because, like... Like, I genuinely just think Badoo is too squishy to risk in Orberg. Like, it'll be... it's a little useful, just because it does have, like, uh, super effective moves on the ground types, but... It is a baby. It is a baby Pokémon. Ooh. That was my intimidation of Ash. Ooh. Oh boy, Psyduck. If only we all if only we had a Pokemon who knew bite or crunch. I don't think no, Psyduck's know. actually a Psyduck type. Oh, yeah, I guess Psyduck might just be pure water at this point. Yeah, like it knows psychic moves. 
but it, it doesn't actually have the typing. Yeah, I and guess. Neither does build up shockingly enough. Seriously? Yeah. Neither one of them have it. It's That's so weird. really weird. You might wanna. Ooh. Okay, you might wanna switch out in a little bit. All right, never mind. <laughs> And that's fine, we just double crit the Psyduck. We just double crit the Psyduck. I don't know what- I don't see what the issue is. Yeah, but what all the times you got Psy- You got Ugh. critical, uh, hit. God. Does it- has anyone ever used Water Sport? I'm sure it's useful competitively. Because the problem is, most Pokemon who learn Water Sport are themselves water types, so they're already resistant to fire attacks. We're gonna switch Giga in, because he has more health. Let's get that Pokeball, and then we'll just let Spoon teleport us back wait, to the wait, station wait, real quick. What is what? Oh, it's a Shanks. Damn. It is Seriously, how is this Shinx just scaring its own kind? What did this Shinx do? Powerful. Giga knows how to kill. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Why have there been? Isn't isn't aren't crits like a five percent chance? Repel. Good. I don't know. Because we've got- we've had so many crits in the last two hours. Hour and a half. We've only been at this for an hour and a half. Oog. Ooh. Ugh. Those kids using their obsolete technology. We've only yeah, been- Yeah, it's around like 6%. We've been getting crit- and giving crit. Like, we must have seen, like, at least, like, ten crits in the last hour and a half. The game detected that you were doing a Nuzlocke, so it does that to scare you. Like, there's some behind-the-scenes stuff that's going on that can raise the chance of it, but I'm, it looks complicated. It's still wild the amount of crits we've had this playthrough so far. Alright, welcome to Orberg Gate. This is a distinct area. We can get like a Geodude here. It's like Geodude, Zubat, or Psyduck. Two of those are good. I mean, yeah, one of those is what I really want. One of them is one of them is decent, and the last one uh is Zubat. Don't nah, I honestly just Zubat. don't. I honestly just don't want Psyduck. I have Fair, I'll Psyduck take Psyduck. is great. Not to mention Golem is a trade evolution. So Geodude wouldn't be amazing either. Yeah. God. Do we have like exact what? odds on Shinx having Intimidate versus Rivalry? Probably, it's usually 50-50 uh, with uh, abilities, I think. Yeah, but I swear, we've only seen, like, what, one or two Intimidate Shinx? And we've seen a lot of Shinx. Oh, oh god. Damn. Every day, Giga gets a bit closer to actually... Every day, Giga gets stronger. Despite the fact that Giga's not useful for Orberg. <laughs> Emotional support. Like Badoo and Spoons. They're also emotional support. And Doof and Smoot. Look, this team is evenly split between the ones that are here to fight and the ones that are emotional support. Yeah. Imagine that all the useful ones die and we only have the emotional support. 
Yeah, electric the name does not. Of the game. Electric does not resist water, but it is strong against it. Good to know. All right, Shinx. Twenty-one attack, fifteen special attack. You know, decent. Yeah, pretty good. All right. I Here it is, or brigade. Oh uh, we have Geo Dude. Yeah, Geo Dude. <laughs> Look at this rock with arms. Look at this rock with arms. How the fuck are we going to damage it? Is rock resistant to rock? I think so. Maybe we could just wall out Kranidos. Because Headbutt's a normal type move, isn't it? Yes. It's just extremely strong. Yeah, maybe we could raise up this Geo dude and turn it into a wall against Kranidos. It's not very effective. Especially if it knows- Oh god. Well, if it knows the fence curl, this thing could be- This could be like the perfect counter to Kranidos. Like a tank. Yeah. We'll need to level it up, obviously, but... Like, we can switch Giga in right when the Kranidos comes out to get the Intimidate off, and then we can switch to Geodude and just start stacking defense curls. We're strategizing here, you see? I see, I see. You get the Geodude. Yep, you did. Because... Outside of using this Geo dude, it's just going to be hoping and praying we don't get one shot by Kranidos. Yeah, Rampardos has such a high attack because it hates you and it wants oh, blood. No footprint. Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Ash, got any ideas for rain for naming the uh? Bast. Short for Bastion. Yeah. <laughs> you can just fit that in there! No, this guy's Bast. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter that Bast is like the god of cats or something? No. It's Bast <laughs> short for fair, Bastion. That's, that's, that's it, I think. <laughs> well, this is Bast short for Bastion, everyone. Sebastian. I'll be right back, I have to go to his bathroom. Alright, hurry hurry. Yeah, I was what I'm well aware goal in the trade evolution, so we're definitely not going to keep Geodude for long. But like Geodude- I mean, we'll carry you to like mid-game. Yeah, like we're not going to like we're definitely not gonna keep Geodude permanently. Geodude's definitely going to be up for swapping. But, like, we could s but, like, Geodude can learn Rock Sm- Actually, that's a good question. Can Geodude learn Rock Smash? Yeah, I'm assuming so. Yeah. Real quick, what's the typing on, uh, Kranidos? Uh, I believe it's just Rock? Yeah, it's pure Rock. Alright, it's a pure rock physical attacker whose main power is headbutt, and it's level 14. Hellboy. Its main power is kill. Its main power is fucking die. First things first. <laughs> I think we're genuinely just going to get more use out of trading Abra than keeping it. Fair. Like... The short term Abra it's sucks really and can be useful. Yeah, but because Abra's a trade evolution, it there's a very narrow there's kind of a narrow range where it's actually a useful Pokemon. Yeah, fair. Oh, wait, is the trade different in platinum? Might be. 
And I hope it's not... I hope they didn't change out the trade. Because maybe I do have it wrong. Maybe it was always just Machop for Abra instead of... No, I swear it's Abra for Chitot. At least it wasn't Diamond. Um... Alright, show that guy Geodude. Maybe, because I know, like, maybe Chatot wasn't available in that game, but it is definitely available in this one, so they probably don't have it for trade. Maybe. Ah, well, it's worth looking around. I know if we show that dude Geodude, something might happen. Alright, uh, say goodbye to Allison, everyone. My phone's starting to complain to me. Oh, bye, Allison. Except she's right there, everyone. <laughs> Kaggle returns. Kaggle returns. Woo. Uh, let me just quickly turn off all the programs I was using for her so we have that extra bit of processing power for the stream. <laughs> Allison, get out of There we go. She wasn't leaving for a minute. Oh look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Psyduck. Oh, and a Dusk Ball, that's nice. Psyduck, the world's most miserable beast. Shout out to Yellow, one of the only named Pokemon in this video game. <laughs> Outside of all the defective Pokeballs we have. <laughs> Oh, there's Pikachu, by the way. The lad! <laughs> hey look, that guy's talking about shinies! Oh, babe, have you found any shinies? I don't know, babe, have we? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the unfortunate part about doing Platinum over Black is uh, the fact that TMs are single-use in this gen. Yeah! They started being reusable in black, which is nice, but we're gonna do black after this one. <laughs> we're gonna do platinum and black and then black too, and I've not. and I make good choices, fuck you. <laughs> to be fair, Gen 5 has the horrible EXP curve that I have learned to live with because I run those games all the time, but you have not. We'll just do Audino grind. We'll just do Audino training. That's how I made it through all the gameplay for Roadmap all those years ago. It's just by getting very good at that. Fast summary. Lonely. Isn't that like a defense up nature? Oh, and sturdy. Uh, ooh, is this when they changed sturdy to being really good, or was that Gen 5? Uh, lonely boosts attack and decreases defense. Well, it's not like we're going to keep using Bast for long. <laughs> All right, I'm back. All right, well, first things first, let's teach it Rock Smash. Oh, no, this is when Sturdy was still kind of shitty. Really? What made Sturdy good before this? What makes Sturdy good and what makes Sturdy bad? Specifically, in Gen 5, they made it so that Sturdy prevents you from being knocked out uh, when you're at full health. You can't be knocked out in one hit. Uh, before that, oh. it only works on the one-hit KO moves. Ugh. Yeah, no, I can see how that'd be bad. So context-specific, and fucking no one has that. Alright. I think a Geodude with a fighting type move is going to be pretty effective on Orberg, though. And it's the only <laughs> time we'll use this thing because the next gym is Grass. Ooh. And you know, a Rock Ground type and a Grass gym, I don't think that's a good idea. Wait a minute, what oh, happened? That to fun. Uh, my phone was getting low on power because of how I'm doing this, so Allison's oh. taking a nap and her PNG is here. Alright, anything else interesting about the Mining Museum? I swear, doesn't this game have the fossil Pokémon? Because I don't remember ever actually using them. 
Uh, if, we end up, if we end up getting the fossil Pokemon, which one should it be? Which ones are in this gen? Is it? Like, Kranidos is one of them, and it's the other oh, one no. that's like, that turns into like Bastiodon or something. Shield on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Those are fossils? Weird. Yeah. Alright, it looks like that trip. Alright, it looks like that trade evolution's different in this gen. Because I swear in Diamond you could actually trade in Abra for Chitot. They took this from you. They did. We're not going to get a Pokemon that knows Sing. I mean, you can run into it naturally. I know because I tried to get it, but its catch rate was too high. Yeah. Oh, either way, it's now time for some real intense Geodude training. Ooh. Well, first, actually, we should get our catch in for the route. Because we get two fire more catches fire, in this fire, area. Fire. We get the Route 207 catch. Which... Please be Ponyta. A Pokeball. Who keeps losing these things? Not to mention a free Pokeball from the hidden item. Alright. Ponyta? Please? Machop. No. No fire types for you. We've got a chance at a Houndour later, and I know Ponyta is just hanging out nearby the thing. You know, the thing? Yeah, it does show up in the grass, Jim. Wait, wait, wait. Don't put a burn against the fighting type. I mean... Oh, well, I guess Machop... Low kick's fighting oh, okay. type. Isn't, fi isn't yeah. flying good against fighting? Yeah, it is. Sorry, just... All right. Sorry. But I think I it's quite normal, so it, like, balances out to being neutral. Yeah, flying normal, but... Eh. Um, oh, right. Um, uh, Mercury's not gonna be that good in the fighting gym, because they're gonna have a steel type in by then. Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. All right, that's... Um, I think that's literally every single trade evolution we could have gotten this early on. <laughs> Congratulations! Still, well, um, now what do we need? Uh. Hmm. Link, any ideas? You might want to give him a minute because it's uh, probably a <clears throat> it's probably on a delay for him. It's it. There's a bit of one. It's not a huge one like last time though. God, that was horrible. This guy's Ringo. Oh, Mr. Beatles. Who? Here? No, <laughs> I I saw you posting my MS Paint art earlier today. Could you please take it down <laughs> from your website, please? I forgot about Ringo's darn shitty MS Paint art. No more fan mail. Uh, real quick, I have an alarm that's gonna go off in a couple minutes, so let me dismiss that. Ooh. All right, we're good. Well, again, we're not keeping we're not keeping a rock type out here. Yeah. They're pretty we're all gonna, we're gonna smash fast to pieces. Alright. I mean, hey! Aren't there only like three Pokémon in Orberg Mine? Yeah, it's like Geodude, Onix, and like Zubat or something. Alright. Oh my god, Onix is another trade evolution, isn't it? Yeah. Oh falls into Steelix while holding the steel coat. Oh, that's annoying. What are those You things? better hope you get Zubat! Alright, that's... What? We are officially swapping Giga out. Giga in. 
<laughs> That's the second crit Mercury ate. The game's just letting you know. <laughs> the game's letting you know you're gonna be pain. Alright, well, if nothing else, we're gonna be able to get Zubat. If nothing else, we're pretty much guaranteed to get Zubat after Orberg because there's a very small cave on the route north to the Grass Gym. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's blocked off with Rock Smash right now. We could have gone in there to get something, but, you know, we didn't. You're getting enough Pokémon. Yeah, worst case scenario, if we get Onyx here, we'll be able to get Zubat there, but if we get Zubat here, we won't be able to get anything from there unless there's, like, some water or something. You're gonna get Psyduck. Oh yeah, I guess we could... We might be able to get Psyduck in there, who knows. The Virgin Psyduck versus the Chad Pup Piplup. <laughs> Alright, well, either way, we're trying to get... Our plan for this gym relies entirely on the idea that Geodude's going... To, that fucking, uh... Bast is going to be a hard... that we're going to turn Bast into a hard counter for Kranidos. <laughs> this is a perfect strategy. I see no problems here. Uh, worst case scenario, if it dies, it dies. This is the only time we're ever going to use Bast anyway, considering... Well, considering the next thing. Oh, hey, Super Potion, that's nice. Yeah, a little unfortunate, we ended up getting Machop for Abra, which is kind of rude. <laughs> I mean, you could get a cool fun app right now. Ah, uh, like honestly, I wish we'd been able to trade in for a Chitot. Alright, we gotta go like down. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you for the thank you for the extra viewer sand. <laughs> Alright. Oi, Rork! Alright, what do we get? What do we get? Yeah! Level 8 Zubat should definitely be able to eat tackles from Giga, right? Maybe? Zubat is a little flimsy to it evolves. Yeah, but also... Yeah, but to be fair, we only have Tackle, which kind of really fucking sucks in this gen. Yeah, we didn't get that sweet, sweet 50 boost. I think even if we got a crit, it would be safe. Oh, well, at least this thing knows Supersonic. Yeah, Supersonic is, like, legit, uh, fairly useful. It's better than Swagger. Remember Swagger? That thing? I have to forget Swagger. Alright. I think the only time I've ever actually seen Swagger be used is by, like, a single Gyarados in Viridian Forest, if that's what it's called. Like, I, I swear- I think some, like, gym leaders use it too. Yeah. There we go, Zubat, the poison flying type. One All right, step babe. Closer to Crobat. What do you want to name this guy? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> you want to just call Sonic. him? Sure. Sun the bat. <laughs> Ugh. Shout out to... You know, something that's made this game way more playable for me is I figured out how to use an actual like PS4 controller with the proprietary software I've got. Yeah, Sonic the Bat. Wait. Now nah, there isn't a secret item there. 
There is an escape route though, which is nice. You can leave as soon as you get Rourke to do his damn job. Yeah. Another Zubin! I mean, we got decently lucky with Sonic, because Sonic ended up being at the higher end of the range. He's close to learn and bite! <laughs> Woo. I did say we were going to train Bast a bit. Oh, Bast is so low level. He sure is. Oof. It's too bad the Bast is the closest thing we have to a physical wall, and is in fact our only plan for Kranidos. Because <laughs> our other plan requires... When does Piplup evolve, by the way? 16, 15, 16. That's standard for starters. Like, we could just... Like, okay, here's the thing. While I do have a rule about not over-leveling, as long as I go into the gym with the Pokémon at the right level, then it's fine. <laughs> like, if Piplup ended up hitting level 16 on the way in the gym up to Rourke, then I wouldn't... <laughs> if Piplup just happened to evolve, that'd be... I'd be fine with that, because isn't Steel resistant to Rock? No. Maybe, like... Wait. Steel typing is a funky one. I mean, is water steel quad resistant to rock? That's the question. No. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I mean, if water steel ends up getting a rock resistance somewhere, that would also make uh, mercury pretty decent. Yeah, I know steel is strong against rock. I don't know if it resists rock. Unfortunately, print plop is entirely water type. Oh god, dang it! <laughs> Sorry. I I guess I'm just used to how Monferno does get its secondary typing. To be fair, I've never actually used Piplup before, so... Meh. Easy mistake to make. What, e not playing Piplup? <laughs> well... The problem is we can't uh, really 69. use... The problem is we can't really use Bast to set up because Bast doesn't know Growl. If Bast knew... does no defense curl. Yeah, but like if I wanted, but if I wanted to set up for Kranidos using Geodude, it would be a lot nicer if I had fucking. Wow, we have not seen a single wild Geodude in this mine. They don't exist. You're gonna find bats more than rocks. I also love that you named the Zubat uh, Sonic. Yeah. It's a good name. <laughs> oh no. Do you dude stop punching yourself? Alright, that is switch territory. I mean, either way, I think Prim Club would be more than strong enough to handle Kranido, so it would just be terrifying as hell. Hello. Oh, hey, Lou. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Gotcha. Hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> we're doing good. We're doing a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, and we're trying to get ready for Orberg. Oh, boy, very fun. I'm frankly terrified. Go great. I'm terrified of Rourke's Kranidos, specifically because that thing wiped me the first time I tried to Nuzlocke this game. <laughs> we just oh yeah um oh yeah lou uh rachel caught her first uh shiny oh boy i don't think i've ever seen a shiny in my life 
Yeah, <laughs> our Starly is our shiny. Yeah, that Starly we have is a shiny. It ended up replacing our Starly that already ha that we put effort into because uh, <laughs> shiny claws. Yeah, fair enough. Like we, we have also Duke's named claws. the first shiny Naruto. I love it. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. We need to think of a strategy here. I honestly don't want to spend enough time leveling bass stuff to actually be able to fight Kranidos by itself. Eh, that's fair. But Bast is technically our best option for fighting Kranidos between a resistant typing to headbutt and just being fairly tanky in general. And then there's the emotional support at the bottom. Yeah, like, arguably, we could go with Mercury. Like, we need someone who can lead, and that basically means our only options against Kranidos are Mercury or Bast. And Mercury is going to be a gamble. Why not Giga? It is how much can Mercury tank before dying. Yeah, what the question Giga, is... Mercury is, a... is not that tanky for their level. Bast is very tanky for its level, with its eight, with its near equivalent defense to Mercury, despite being five levels lower. Mm -hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're going to give Mercury is we're going to get Mercury to level 14, and then we're going to abuse Intimidate by constantly swapping, by constantly swapping between Giga and uh, Bast on the Kranidos. Ooh, interesting. Or more specifically, it's a little scummy, but what if we just death foddered something? <laughs> Sacrifice. No, oh, but. <laughs> Watering innocent mud chuck or mud chops. I mean, I was mostly going until I would see a ponyta, because uh, well, the Zubats in well, I guess the mines would technically be a little higher level, maybe. The Zubats no confuse ray, well, supersonic, and that would just be annoying to deal with. Mm, yeah, fair. So we're just going to grind up in this route over here. Oh boy. Wait, why not fight that child down there? I mean, I guess we could check if that kid's a tra <laughs> I guess that kid would be a trainer, considering this place right in front of a bike path. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. No, you got up. So, Lou, what are you playing right now? <laughs> uh, nothing. I literally just got home from work. Ah. I think he's talking to his dog. She. I was talking to my dog, yes. Woo. <laughs> Alright. Is water actually resistant to rock? I don't think it is. Oh, uh, I don't think so. No, Which it's is, not. That's unfortunate. You. Yeah, that's what I thought. This guy just... This guy's just talking about bikes. You know what? <laughs> let's just go into the gym. <laughs> This is a like horrible a idea, but let's just go you're, into the gym. You're playing a dangerous Fuck it, game. Why not? We're just gonna go all in on Prim Club being able to one shot Kranidos. <laughs> I'm watching for like no damage though. What? Just out of spite. Prim Club or Kranidos? That uh, Prim Club, watch it. Watch it get beat the fuck out. Prim Club refuses to fight. Ooh, somebody stumped me. Super effective. I don't think... I don't think water is strong against ground. I think grass is good against ground. 
I mean, where does the grass grow if it's not on the ground, you know? Yeah, I was just trying to think if water would be quite effective against the rock ground type. Ghost fighting. <laughs> Damn, ghost got hands. <laughs> Is there a ghost fighting type? I don't think so. There should be. Uh oh. Onyx. And it's gonna get full. Okay, no, that did nothing. Oh shit! I thought I thought that giant rock snake was gonna kill the penguin. I thought rock throw was a lot scarier. My shadow is ghost fighting, and I think it might be the only one. Ah. Good, Rachel. That, that's a pimple, not a print club. I was, I was kind of hoping. Yeah, what I was kind of hoping that it'd end up evolving before the fight, but, like, considering Pinplup is... Yeah, considering Mercury is already on par with Kranidos in terms of level, I think we just... I don't want to level Piplup up anymore, so I think we're just gonna have to go in like this. We're... Like, switch in, uh, one of the Pokémon and then bring in Pinplup or Mercury. I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to feed... Rourke's first two Pokemon to Mercury, and then we're going to, and then depending on how we're feeling, we're going to try, we're going to try abusing Shink Giga's Intimidate. And I'm more than willing to fodder, I'm more than willing to fodder spoons. <laughs> oh no. Here's the thing, both spoons. spoons and Bast are fodder. <laughs> what a heartless so human mean. being you are. Oh, wait, you aren't human, you're a cat. Yeah. That girl out. has no mercy. Yeah, that tracks. Besides... How dangerous are these bubbles? It's only 20 power, but considering it's Stab and Piplup's a special attacker, and these guys... and it's super effective... And, uh, well, like, rock types are typically resistant, and rock types are typically physical walls, and oh yeah, we're definitely switching Pip- we're definitely switching Mercury out. That's fucking Screech. Oh. Almost dead. That was the wrong one. <laughs> I meant to press something else. <laughs> oh, the, the I- The second it doesn't die immediately, you just had to run. I mean, thing is, he's gonna heal here, so you could just get in another hit. Yeah, but Mercury is screeched. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's fine. That's less fine. Yeah, you you really should have just gone for that hit. Super effective, my ass. Oh, please. Okay. You know what? Bass is gonna get some levels. I can't believe it- <laughs> I can't believe we got Stealth Rock, which was like, the biggest counter to the strategy I had. He knows the, he knows the type matchup. This- this snake just loves to throw rocks. I mean, hey, we've gotten like- I think Rock Smash has like a- what the fuck are the odds on Rock Smash's stat drop? I don't know, probably like 30 or something. I'm gonna have one to heal after this one. And now the fodder is gonna... Okay. Alright, that's a flying type move, so it's not that helpful, but hey. It could do some typing. You have it. It's only as good as Tackle, so, you know, it's not that great. <laughs> Isn't Rock Polish, like... Raise of speed, I'm pretty sure. That's not amazing, because this guy is not a sweeper, but it's better than Mudsport. Oh, 
boy. To be fair, this guy was like five levels below the Onyx that just tanked. <laughs> Geodude has like really skip. good stat growth, actually. Granted, oh shit. Oh, it. Oh. Mold Breaker? I mean, I don't think I. I believe know. that removes the effects of abilities. You might want yeah, to I... fence curl. No, I thought, mold, I thought Mold Breaker means it couldn't be, like, copied. No, Mold Breaker me. Um... I think Mold Breaker kind of changes between gens, but typically it means if... But I don't think it really applies here. Rachel? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing a very dangerous game here. But, like, I can't pull Bass out because this thing knows Pursuit. Um, so Mold Breaker, like, ignores abilities that could, like, affect the success of a move. So, like, if you had Levitate, it would just negate that and hit you anyways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of useful. I really should. It's a interesting one. God, if Bass survives this, he's gonna level up a fuck ton. He sure is. The thing is, the Crown Bills does outspeed, which is annoying. I could rock polish, but, you know. Oh, screw it, let's rock polish. Please don't crit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, be careful with pursuit out on the field. No, 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 no. Oh. Don't worry, unless it crits, we're fine. Uh, what is that? The third? Would, what is that? The third defense curl? That would be the funniest Maybe. time to start the crit right then. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. Uh, like Stealth Rock really has just fucked my whole plan up. Sure has. <laughs> of course, it knows Lear. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? This Kranidos wants blood and it's going to get it. Oh wow, this thing is not tanky. It's getting rid of all your defense curls. Yeah, well here's the thing, Bass is a fodder Pokemon. No way, not yet. <laughs> If Bass goes down, this thing, like, this thing is already in one-shot range. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Well, alright. That off shockingly well. Yeah, we didn't get and... any crits happening. Like, we didn't get any experience going anywhere super nice, but hey. We managed to get through Orberg without any casualties. That's impressive. And you know what? Bass gets to stay in the party. Mostly because Bass already has an HM. <gasps> but hey, good news is good news. That's the first gym down without oh, any casualties. Because, like, Kranadels is real fucking scary this early on. Kranidos can ruin you. Alright, what's that TM? Oh, Stealth Rock. Could be decent. We need- we would need some kind of setup wall for it, and I don't think a trade evolution is really making the cut there. Alright, I think we'll just get back to the city, and then we'll stop there for tonight. Yeah, fair. Alright. I think we've had a pretty successful first... I think we've had a fairly successful first bout with it, with this Nuzlocke. You got your first shiny, you caught an Abra. I got a shiny, <laughs> I got an Abra, I managed to win the first gym without losing anything, which, uh... 
really not guaranteed against that Kramados. <laughs> Barry really does. <laughs> no, Barry no really one. does. It's Nolan. Nolan. Nolan North. Nolan North really does. Appear in everything. Still can't believe. Still cannot believe we got a shiny. <laughs> Your Viola shiny. better live. Even with the Viola's kind of terrible nature, this is. Like, it's not the worst thing, but considering Viola's gonna end up being a Star Raptor, I would have preferred to have attack over speed. Fair. How does that bird just hit itself by going by using a quick attack? It ran into a wall. <laughs> Rip. Fair enough. Either way, we definitely got it. Okay, wait, don't we have Mars as our next big challenge? Yeah, Valley Windworks is your next, like, thing. Yeah, how- what's Mars' level range again? Is it 16 or 20? No, I think it's 20. Ooh. Tell me, have you not obtained a PAL pad? Is not a PAL pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this Jubilife city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But, my friend... You know what? I imagine Looker talks like the crows from the Murder on the Owl Express. <laughs> I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Anyway, let's see. Yes, sir. I suggest you remain vigilant for, sh for shady uh, strangers here, my friend. Well, first oh, thing, man. can you tell me what the funny numbers are on the back of your credit card? Oh, well, first things first. Of course. Let's have our double battle here, and then we'll save. Because after that, we'll have to go to... Because after this, we get to go up to... I mean, hey, the Valley Windworks has Shellos. Yeah, I hope you get Shellos. I love Shellos. Yeah, I hope I get Shellos and not fucking Bweasel. <laughs> If fucking weasel, mate. Oh, it's uh, Oh my god, Viridian Forest is going to be weird for getting a Pokemon in because we're forced to have a party. We're forced to have a party member there. Oh yeah, she's gonna be making life hard for you. Yeah, like the last Forest party member I had ended up getting me a muff with frickin' Minimize. So it wasn't all killed terrible. that muck brutally. And violently. Look at that kitty. Look at that kitty. Oh hey, and oh, Jimmy affects both off. of them. That's nice. I was staring at that Shinx trying to figure out what the name was a reference to for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> I named that one Lou. Nice. Good job there. <laughs> How funny would it have been if that Chimchar actually just one-shot the Glammeow? <laughs> Yay, Viola. There we go, Viola's got wing attack. No more emotional support. Oh my god, what is this stunky defense? Beefy. That is, like, stunky is meant to wall you. Stun Nobody wants to touch the stunky, that's the thing. That's why all the attacks are so weak. Yeah, that thing is a physical wall if I ever saw one. Admittedly, it does not hit that hard.
When does Shanks evolve yeah. again? Uh, I'd say like 20s, maybe. Like, maybe late teens. Hang on. Yeah, I know Luxray evolves like 45, but hey. 15. Yeah, 15. That's pretty close. Well, I say we made a lot of progress today. Yeah, we got the first gym down, we got Ash shot his, his Bondo, and Rachel caught, his, caught her first uh, shiny, and this guy won't shut up. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone in town wants to talk to you! You beat two guys! Here's a- here's 50 paragraphs worth of information. Somebody else comes in. <laughs> Alright, well, first off with Poker Sensor and then save, and well, we'll call it there. And I just realized... Oh wait, I do have an art plug, never mind. Oh shit, I still have to draw that shitty MS Paint art for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we might end up doing a stream tomorrow too. Although Ashley probably won't be here for that. Oh, I yeah. probably won't. I had to be here for the first one because Nuz locked on my brand. But like... I probably won't be here all the time. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, the stream lore is that I killed you, so it's gonna take you a while to be resurrected. <laughs> Not- I really hate the deposit and withdraw Pokemon thing, cause, like... It, uh, it took them so long to change that. God, I hate it. Alright, so, end of, end of stream summary, we've got the level 9 Viola, the, the level 12 9.21 gigawatts, Mercury, level 15 Piplup, Bass, level 10 Geodude, uh, Bouquet, who uh, definitely needs some help. Oh. <laughs> oh, apparently Bouquet is bold, so that's nice. Oh, Natural Cure. Natural Cure's fucking good. Yeah, I kind of haven't looked at this guy. Natural Cure, all status problems are healed upon switching. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's like the best fucking thing you can get on Badoo. Yeah, like... He's a baby. Like, we'll definitely keep Bouquet on the team, because I do want a Rosalia. Right, Rose we need an XP will... share. Yeah. yeah, we need an XP share, but I don't remember where that happened in this game. It's gonna take a minute. Yeah, pick... Uh, really quick, though, for something to... about uh, Scarlet and Violet for the newest Pokemon games that are gonna be coming out. The XP share is a permanent thing now. Yeah, it's been yeah, a permanent thing for a couple of games. Since Sword and Shield. Yeah. Oh, yeah I've, I haven't played it. Shout out to Bass yeah. having better attack and defense than Mercury despite having five lower levels. Get the rock, Rachel. Come on. Geodude still really. Different. Yeah, Geodude has some like wild stat growth. Yeah, Intimidate. Key and I still sucks. Here's hoping Viola ends up getting Intimidate when he evolves. <laughs> it's still kind of lame they ended up having the negative nature thing. But yeah, we've caught nine distinct Pokemon, including Doofenshmirtz cool. the Bidoof, Ringo the Machop, and Sonic the Zubat. <laughs> Admittedly... Admittedly, we got a bit of a weird typing clash, considering Sonic is a flying poison type, and Badoo's going to evolve into a poison type, and we already have a flying type, so, uh... Sonic might... Consider... Oh, bat. I mean... Consider these nuts on Crobat's face. No. <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah. Ah well, everyone. I believe... There it is. I believe we're gonna call the stream yeah. here. We've gotten a lot of good progress done. We got a real strong start going into this Nuzlocke. Zero Shiny. deaths. Zero deaths after the first gym is something I can be proud of, considering what Kranidos is made out of. 
<laughs> I hope everyone here has a wonderful day and goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.